Hi guys, welcome back to the Elizardos. Today we have something so special for you guys. I know that I say that about all my videos, but this is something so awesome, so spectacular. We are going to make a Michael Myers bloody snow globe like you've never seen before. We are also gonna be using vinyl. I did make this snow globe and I used the uh, vinyl for the jack. This snow globe has been like this for like about a week and a half. I wanted to make sure that the vinyl was going to stick before we jumped into the Michael Myers one. And it actually did. And it's so awesome and so pretty. I also pre-made um, the blood. I wanted to make sure, or the blood, lava, whatever, to make sure that it was going to work. This is not going to go in my globe. This is just a practice run. And look at that, you guys. For this uh, snow globe, we are going to need these snow globes. We did, I did go to Dollar Tree. They are bringing them out for Christmas. You guys better put your running shoes on and go get them because they're running out fast. Because when I went, they only had four. We also got um, baby oil. You're also gonna need red food coloring, vegetable glycerin, a little bit of oil. You can use vegetable oil or canola oil. We're only gonna use a little bit. And for the sealant, let me tell you, I tried everything. Super glue didn't work. Gorilla glue took forever to seal and then it didn't seal. The only thing that worked for me is this clear seal. I got it from Walmart. It was like $1.97 or $2. This works like nobody's business. Remember guys, it's for the sink. If it can hold your water in your sink, it'll hold your snow globe. We did get some Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna tell you what I use this for right now. You're gonna need your one tablespoon. I have a half a tablespoon, but it's all right. We'll make it work. And just a little cup to mix your stuff, your stuff in. This is going to be the centerpiece of my globe. What I did to make it waterproof was I got some Gorilla Glue that I had and I just kind of painted the paint with this to seal it. That's why it looks glossy but I want it to look like that so that way it doesn't fall apart in the water or the oil, right? Okay guys, so once you put your Gorilla Glue on top of your lid and your knife and you spread it around, you're gonna let it set for 24 hours. This is gonna take the longest part. Mine's not really that set. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the knife on here so it can all um, kind of bond together. We're gonna let this sit for 24 hours. I did print out a Michael Myers and I used um, vinyl, but you wanna make sure that it's the shiny vinyl like that. You don't want the flat vinyl because the flat vinyl, it didn't work. So I got this at Michael's. It was only like $1.49. So I got it in black and white. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and peel up and get him ready. Let me turn it. He's gonna be my little frame or my little stencil. This is the one that's gonna drive me bonkers. We're gonna get some transfer tape. I don't want it to be too sticky, right? So we didn't use the strong, I'm just gonna use the regular one. Just like that, voila. I'm gonna turn him around guys because I need to see where he's going because I don't need him to look like a little chafito, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're gonna paint some. It's gonna look like that, you guys. Does he look weird? He don't look weird? He looks like Michael Myers? He looks scurry? Yes, he looks scurry. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our um, glow. I did pre-paint this as well. I just used black spray paint. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get him inside of here. I'm gonna follow the little dot and there's the line. So we want him to go right in here. 
This is gonna be the hard part, getting him in there, getting his ass in there. <laughs> air bubbles as we possibly can but that happened with me with the jack and when the water went in there it like flattened it somehow so we're gonna go ahead and leave it like that I don't want to mess him up and make him look a little deformed or whatever so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a cup and I'm gonna put my globe inside of it just like that and I am going to fill it up with baby oil what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding the mixture before I add the rest of the baby oil because I want to fill it up right here we just have to make sure that this sucker is gonna fit inside of it and not kind of like you know huh overflow. yeah overfill everywhere so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our vegetable glycerin oh it popped uh, Pop, oh, so we need two tablespoons of this sucker so this is two tablespoons It doesn't matter. Now you're gonna get your red food coloring and you're gonna put it in there. We're gonna get our little sticks or wooden stick or spoon, whatever you have, and we're gonna mix it and we're gonna mix it really, really good. You can make it darker if you want. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it inside of our baby oil. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil or canola oil. I'm gonna add probably a teaspoon as well. And I'm gonna pour it in there. See what I mean how it gets a little higher? You wanna make sure before you add the rest of your baby oil that it's not too high. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get him or the bowl and I am going to stir it. It's okay if it turns red like this. I shook this yesterday. It did this. As it sits, it's gonna clear up. So, don't worry about it. Now we're gonna add the remaining of our um, baby oil and we'll be right back. Okay, now that you're filled up about this much, probably like about an inch, right? I'm hoping it doesn't overfill. We're gonna get our knife or whatever you're gonna put in there and we're gonna kinda put it in um diagonal oh my god pray for me there we go in there right it looks like yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it because i am gonna tip it over i'm gonna see how it looks before i seal it i'm gonna seal it you guys but before i seal it i want to make sure everything's right you want to I'm not I'm gonna leave it just like that but now I'm gonna seal it so I'm gonna put it back in my cup make sure nothing came out you want to make sure it's white and clean and we're gonna get our sealant sorry mine busted from the back so we're gonna use so I'm gonna get a little bit with my finger it's really sticky you guys so and I'm gonna put it right here at the edge 
because that's where it leaks from. You want to make sure you flatten it out because remember this is a screw on so you want to make sure that you don't over um you know like put on the little screw part if you do it's okay it'll come off it peels off which is so good like extra sealant because i don't want it to ever open we're gonna let that set guys and we'll be right back i let this sit for about an hour so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put my lid on and i'm gonna screw it on now what I'm going to do is I just got some red vinyl that I had left over from making the, well, the blood and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put it just around here. You could put ribbon, you could put whatever you want, just to give it a little bit of a, like a color, I guess. Oh, but it was short. Well, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Remember, the vinyl is going to flatten a little bit more as it sits like this one did. That's it for this video. We'll see you guys on the next. Bye-bye.